Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to go ahead and show you a few things on burst mining. This will be a burst mining tutorial, basically hard drive mining. Um, some people say storage is also a hard drive miner, but that's more of holding data and letting other people download it. So it's a lot different. Um, so the hard drive mining, which is POC, um, point of capacity, is what we're going to be going over here. Um, so we do see we have a Western Digital 8 terabyte drive there. It's been running for a long time. Uh, it's been crunching the numbers and earning us some burst coins. Uh, burst is a coin that I will be mining and we just got this in. So we will be going through and opening up this new drive and setting it up. Um, 8 terabytes. The good thing is if mining falls through or anything, I mean, I got an eight terabyte drive to mess with, so I'm kind of excited about that. We're gonna to try to do this one-handed. Yes, what's up? We got that. Nice, so, don't fall, don't fall. All right, so there's the my book eight terabyte. Uh, I got some cords in here as well. Good thing about burst mining is it's very green and it doesn't use a lot of electricity. These compared to GPU mining, it's like night and day. So um, it's not going to be as profitable, but you can think of it this way. You'll probably earn back. In my estimates, I'm just saying, you know, you go with whatever you think. I think it'll take about a year to earn back for the drive. That's assuming that the coin does not change prices. If the price goes up, which it's only at th about around three cents right now. But say it goes to six cents, you know, that's six months. You know, I mean, yeah, that's a 100% increase, but, you know, it can be done. So I just kind of want to give you guys a quick overview of that. Um, if you look, I also have my burst mining on my computer here. Um, so you can see it's kind of running the mining program there. My Ethereum is behind there, by the way. Um, so it's just going through and figuring things out. So, yeah. That's the burst mining interface there. So here you can see my burst uh, wallet. Um, basically, I have about 700 burst right now. Um, and you can see when it comes in. I did have some downtime because I had some problems. Um, and I didn't have time to fix it, unfortunately. It was a very busy month. So I kind of missed a month there. But I got down and I fixed it in like five seconds. I was pretty upset with myself. Um, but... <laughs> Um, that's what the wallet looks like. I'm going to take you through um, going through and setting everything up here um, on another computer so you can see that and then we'll get it plotting away which is kind of like setting your hard drive up. Um, so we'll do that and answer any questions you have down below. All right, Smackers, so I want to go through and show you basically how uh, burst mining works here in this tutorial. Basically, I have my hard drive here. I'm going to plug this in in a moment. Um, basically, it is going to take a power cable, so I have the power cable to plug into the back, and then it's a place for the USB as well. So then we'll plug it into the computer. Um, I'll do that in a moment, but before I do that, I'm going to start setting up the software, because the software does take some time. So I'll have the link in the description. You can also just go to Google and just uh, search like Burst Download Q Bundle, it's called. Um, so when we come to the screen, we're going to come here. Um, you'll see this at the top, Download Wallet. We'll scroll down. Go to Windows, click on that, and then you'll see Q Bundle. That's the one we want. So let's go ahead and choose Q Bundle. It'll go through and ask what you want. Um, MSI is so you don't have to, you know, it'll be a lot quicker if it's Windows. So I would just do it that way. That way you don't have to deal with the zip. If you're worried about speed, you can go through with the zip, but the size really isn't that much different. So then we go with Q Bundle Installer. Um, we would go ahead and save it. We'll save it in our group of capacity holder. Uh, it'll go through and download here. Once it's done, all you would do is double click on it and it would run. So I do have it already set up here, so I'm not going to go ahead and double click and install it, but it's pretty much just next, next, finish kind of thing. You don't have to do anything specific with it when you install it. Um, once that's done, we can go ahead and bring up the wallet. Well, let me go through and bring it up on my computer here. So we have the hard drive all plugged in now. I have the burst wallet bringing it up. Um, basically, you have a place here that says, do not have an account, click here to create one. You'll want to do that and go through and create it. It's going to give you a long 
like 12 words to remember, which is your key. That's to get into the program. So you're gonna to wanna to enter that key. Once you do enter it here, um, then you go ahead and log in and it'll start preparing itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that there. I'm gonna choose remember and I'm gonna log in here. Okay, so this is my wallet. If you notice, it's a little lower than the other one. That's because I haven't used this wallet in a while. So what has to happen is it has to update everything that's been going on while this has last been on. And this will happen to you as well. Um, so it's gonna have to download the blockchain here. So you're gonna see it download. It's gonna take some time, unfortunately. If this is your first time setting it up, the best thing to do is go to database, choose import, and where do we want to go? Um, import from repository and then start importing. This is basically like we'll speed up the whole process to get it there quicker for you. That way it just grabs everything and brings it in. And then where it stops, then it starts downloading. Instead of downloading the whole thing, it just it's, it's a lot quicker. Uh, but it's still going to take some time. So this wallet is pretty far behind. It is out of date. So it's going to go ahead and um, yeah, take that time to do it. Um, so in the meantime, what I can do is I can take a look at my hard drive. I do have that set up there. Let me see if we can go ahead and get it formatted. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to the drive. I know it's the F drive here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and right click on it and choose format. Once we do that, the file system is going to be NTFS. Allocation size, uh, we should go up to 60. I believe let's see yeah, 64 uh, what else do we have here we don't want to do a quick format and this will be I call it burst 2 and then at that point all I want to do is go ahead and choose start so we'll go ahead and start that to go ahead and format it. Uh, just saying, giving you, letting you know everything's going to be deleted. It's a brand new drive, so there's nothing we can worry about, have to worry about. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And that's going to go ahead and start formatting. This could take a time, a long time. So altogether, setting up first does take a good amount of time because I have to update my wallet, which is going to take some time. I have to download the blockchain that could take days. Uh, this format could take a day. Uh, I don't remember it taking that long last time. I think it was more like an hour or something, but it could take some time. So after we are done going through and formatting this drive, we'll do what's called plotting, which is basically taking the information they want us to check and put it on the drive and it'll do the calculations. That can take a few days as well, depending on how big your drive is, because mine's eight terabytes. Um, it takes longer. That's, this is more of the top end usually. Um, there are some bigger drives, but eight is usually where people usually go for. Um, if you're interested, you want to try this out, I'll put a link to some drives down below uh, in the description if you wanted to purchase them through Amazon. Uh, it would also help us out here. Um, or if you just want to use your own stuff, you can do that too. I don't know the actual size. I think you need at least 100 gigabyte, but maybe you can do less. Um, I haven't tried really small volumes, so I'm not sure there. So we're gonna go ahead and let this run. After this is done, we will come back then and set up the plotting um, so I can show you how that part works. So we're down here on my um, mining computer. We got the drive formatted. I moved it over to here because it took almost a day. So, because <laughs> it was eight terabytes and it has finished now. We'll go ahead and click okay. And we will close out of this. Uh, we're going to go to my wallet, and we'll go into Tools, and Plotter. Choose where to store. Uh, it's the Miner 2 drive. We'll say OK. Uh, we have to make a folder, so we'll do that real quick. Let's go back in here, New Folder. Probably gonna take it a second to wake up. There 
It's thinking. There we go. We'll just put it in. Call it plot two. And yeah, we'll say okay. Okay guys, so I did get this going and working here. So basically I just needed to copy the numeric account number as I showed. And then the start nuance it actually tells you what it is. You wanna go with that. If you change it, I had some problems getting started. So once you do that, you go ahead and you hit start plotting. And then you can see in the window, I've been doing it for a few days now. It's at 65%. Uh, it'll be generating them um, here. I'm also still mining my burst while I'm doing it. Um, on my other hard drive. So once this is done, then I'll be able to mine twice as fast. Uh, I also do have my Ethereum mining as well. So I'll be good to go. There will be an update coming out in the near future. Uh, when that does come out, um, I'll just need to go ahead and replot these drives, but I can do them one at a time and get them updated and just kind of like what I'm doing here. So when I update the first one, the other one will still be mining. So I will only do one at a time. So I just want to show you guys that. I'll show you again once it's completed. It'll probably be about another day from now. So I'll check in then. Okay, guys, we're back. As you can see, we got some more coin recently. We're up to 758. We have the drive plotted, and it is set up there. It does show the F drive. I just kicked off the miner for the first time. Here we go. And you can see the D and the F drive are showing there. So that's awesome. And it is going through and mining on two drives now. So we're going to be mining twice as fast, which is exciting. Um, burst should be coming in real nice now. Um, yeah, so it's pretty awesome. As you know, we always have Ethereum mining too. Since this is hard drive mining, we can use the rest of the computer towards the graphics cards to do Ethereum. Uh, once again, this is the rig. I did build it. It runs very, very stable. Haven't had any problems. There's the two Western Digital 8 terabyte drives. Uh, I'll put a link as well to the build again, just so you could check it out if you'd like. Guys, if you want to do Burst, check it out if you are interested in it. I would get into it sooner than later, because uh, I know some things are going to be changing up on it, and I don't know how much more stuff is left to be mined. Um, so you may want to do a little extra research uh, just to check into it. Uh, but so far, I'm going to stick with it. If I do anything else after this, it would be continue with Ethereum or maybe some graph, which I'll do some information on in the near future. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please smack that like button. These tutorials are very difficult to make, especially when it takes days and days to put it all together. So I really appreciate some love. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more about Burst, please let me know. If you are mining Burst, how many terabytes do you have or gigabytes? What pool are you using? Let me know. Set your details down below. And thank you, everyone. As always, smack out.